Hi guys, my name is Stephanie. Welcome to my channel. Um, so guess what? I am now officially a independent Sensi consultant. Yeet. Um, I figured I would, I keep saying, um, everyone, we're going to play the um game. Hmm. Every time I say um, you're going to take a drink and do a count. Let me know how many I did because I'm not going to count but I'd like to know how many times I say it. <laughs> Anyways, so I buy a lot of wax. I account for a lot of wax when we do our budgeting and bills, and I a lot for that. So I'm not going broke spending money on wax and candles. Um, my husband has an allotment for some special bottles. I have an allotment on my own categories that would be perfumes, wax, and candles. So I figured I would sign up to sell Scentsy. Number one, it would my mom likes to buy Scentsy, and I figured I might as well help myself out and help her out and get some really fun collections and um, just really help myself when I spend money on myself. So, uh, that is what that is. And what else? I think that that's my announcement. Let's see what else. Um, scent of the day. I am wearing first layer lemon, Ice Lemon Pound Cake from Bath & Body Works. This is the body cream. And then I, for my perfume, it's Ex Idolo Lemon Crime. Let's see. There we go. Lemon Crime. There we go. Lemon Crime. Yeah. Uh, this small little bottle is $125. If you go to a website called Lucky Scent, you'll find it there. This is a beautiful, beautiful with layering this. Um, it is pink pepper and red mandarin. It's got um, some little bit of floral. I'm not a huge floral person, but I think the floral kind of grounds it down a little bit. Then it's got baking sugar and star anise. And then in the base notes, it's got cocoa and vanilla pound cake. You cannot go wrong with that. Um, this is beautiful and I love smelling like a snack. I love gourmands. I love some florals, but as you'll see, I like more gourmands. I'm starting to, I'm trying to branch out and do more, um, trying to do, uh, more fruits and, um, not heavy, heavy gourmand. I'm just trying to branch out. Anyways, um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk about what I have been burning. So these are my candle empties and my wax empties. Now I have some vendor wax as well as obviously Scentsy. I do have a lot of vendor wax and I'm going to film a second video here with um, a haul. So I have three separate hauls that came in. I have a, sense, a sassy girl. Um, a Rose Girls, and then a Scentsy Wax haul. So I'm going to film that after. Anyways, so let's start off with my candles. So last week was pretty rainy here in California. Uh, this, is a f this is like the third day that we've actually had sun, and later on tonight and all day tomorrow and Wednesday, it's supposed to be raining again. I'm not going to complain. We need the rain. And I enjoy the rain, makes me enjoy the sun when it comes out. Anyways, so what I did in my kitchen is, um, this is Candleberry Company. This is the Kentucky Bourbon. This one is so good. It's, it's just this really sweet, mapley, bourbon-y um, candle. I will say that what I have found with the Candleberry Company is sometimes this has a hard time 
fully pulling out every now and then. I do have to put a little foil around the top to, to get it to fully pull, even though it's already pulled out. Like, even when it's down here, so every now and then I have to, I have to put some foil around it for it to fully pull out. Um, but this is in my kitchen. We have an open layout, so I try and make sure that things are gonna blend well where I burn. Um, on my dining room table, I had from Homeworks the banana maple pancakes. This one was really good. I did really enjoy the smell of this one. It wasn't overly strong, you guys. I'm just so frustrated and weary of Homeworks right now. I really want to buy all these scents, these new candles, but I am just having, I, I'm not having a whole lot of luck. This is maybe a, maybe a five, maybe a five. It smells great, but I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just kind of frustrated. It smells good on cold, but on warm, it's not throwing a whole lot. Um, and it was okay. The burn was okay. Kind of dirty at the end. Um, but it burnt all the way down and burnt itself out. I'm not going to complain. Um, and then in my hallway, <laughs> I did the Paris Cafe from Bath and Body Works. This one, I, I love the Paris Cafe. What I don't love is the fact that this just piddled out on me multiple times. And I don't have a candle crock and I don't have um, a candle lamp. And Melanie from Mr. Kong's mom would be so upset with me, <laughs> but I don't, I don't have one. I don't have a whole lot. I mean, I don't know where else I, I don't know where I would put it, to be honest. Um, so I'm just saying, forget it. Um, I'll probably break up the wax and put it in my, um, my prepper bag. Um, so that if, you know, the world comes to an end, I have wax that I can start a fire with. Who knows? Um, and then in my living room, I did the Dalgona, Dalgona from Kringle. This is part of their reserve that they just released not too, a couple months ago. Um, this one burnt beautifully all the way down to the end. This is like a luxurious bar of creamy, the smoothest chocolate you've ever had. This, I, you guys, this is fantastic. I enjoy this tremendously. So that is what was going on in with the candles. Now, when my Bath and Body Works, the Paris Cafe burnt out of me, I figured, you know what, there's a candle that, I tried a few weeks ago that I just didn't like um, on warm. And so let me try it. Let me try it again. Let me read the notes again and get my head sensory to where, where this tells me I need to go. The sweet and savory. Um, so this is a dark piece of baked bread. Absolutely. On cold, absolutely. Burning? Absolutely not. This is, I, it smells like cat pee to me and I'm, I can't do it. I can't, I could not relax. I kept thinking, did my cat go nuts and decide to pee in my house around my chair? Like what's going on? And uh, as I'm walking around sniffing, what it, hmm, this is where my nose went. This is it. So this is a no, no for me, dog, not happening. Um, I might see if someone else wants it, but I wouldn't, I, I can't do that one. Um, okay. So upstairs for the first part of the week in my bedroom, I did quiver. Um, this is a nice floral. So this I can do because it's not so heavy on the florals. Um, it was soft enough. It was sweet enough that I could do that. Um, if it's so floral that I feel like I'm into the laundry or cleaning products, I, I'm not a fan, but this one I was able to do. And it was also upstairs a little bit in our loft area, um, so that I could smell it before I get to my bedroom and then smell it in my bedroom. 
Um, so this was nice. And then when that one went out in the hallway upstairs in the loft um, and in the bedroom, I moved on to Spiced Ember Glow. This one was, um, this is a nice spicy Spiced Ember Glow. A little bit of cinnamon -y, cinnamon, -y, cinnamon -y. This is, I mean, this is fall, but you know, it was raining and upstairs in the loft and upstairs in our bedroom. I don't, I don't mind it. My bedroom doesn't have to necessarily be um, florally or quote unquote romantic. My husband loves a bakery sense. Um, he's, he can smell that um, and enjoys that. So when I say he can smell that, so the end of 2019, December, beginning of January, he got really, really sick. And uh, we realized it was the, the buggy bug. Um, we realized that probably a year later after after realizing that, oh, he really can't smell things very much anymore. And he still has a hard time. So I still have to, um, when it comes for like our bourbons and stuff, um, I'm, I'm the sniffer. And so I can, I will tell him what, what's in here, um, so that he, his brain and his, his nose can kind of reconnect. Um, so I, when I say he likes, he can smell the bakery goods. He can really smell the vanillas. Um, and he, but other scents, like he's just, he can give or take. It doesn't matter to him. Anyways, so this one we both enjoyed. Um, this is a nice fall scent. He's all about the fall weather as well. Um, okay. Also down here, it was the beginning of the week. The beginning of the week it was raining off and on and i thought let me go through some bars that i'm kind of questioned the new some of the new bars that are questionable not but not new bars but a new bar that i was meh about um and it's the coconuts for coconuts from sensi so this is um new release this is too much floral um, but I thought maybe when I burnt it, maybe some sweetness would come out or the, the coconut cream or the vanilla would come out. So I put this in the majority of my, um, my warmers down here. And then sporadically, I threw some crumb cake just to put some sweet in here. And you guys, um, I, I couldn't do it. I had to take the wax out. I had to take all the wax out of these burners um, because this was absolutely no for me. I could not stand it. It was it was like I jumped into um, a bag of um, laundry powder. I, I couldn't do it. So to replace that, I added more of these throughout the house and then the Cozy Fireside, this is one that I knew that I needed to try because it's in my club and I wanted to make sure that um, I liked it. And if I liked it, keep it. If I don't like it, then I'm going to get it out. This was really good, you guys. Both of these downstairs um, worked really, really good. Um, I enjoyed it. It was cozy. And then... been nice and sunny this is day three of sun it's gonna go away later on tonight and it's going to start raining again Tuesday and Wednesday I'm not gonna complain California needs it so bad you guys um, so what I did is this is zape this is a uh, vendor wax this is lemon pound cake and then so these went into my um, my plate warmers, and then in my other warmers, I got through two bars of the le the strawberry lemon cake. You guys, these are this. Whew. 
Ooh, yes. These two together, interspersed. Mm -hmm. Yes. So good. Um, my husband could smell this when I told him, think um, lemon pound cake. And he stuck his nose over and he went, oh, yeah, he got it. And lemon, lemon, the like the lemon bars and uh, lemon cupcakes and lemon cake, like that's one of his favorites. So I'm definitely going to um, try, hopefully she has more of this on her website and I will definitely be picking up more bars of this. This is so good. As well as strawberry lemon cake also, so good. I am going to, I know I have two in my bi-monthly and two in my quarterly. I don't think that's going to be enough because I really like these. I like these so much. So good. Um, okay. Upstairs. I just finished up. So this company is, um, salt, salt mountain. Yep, Salt Mountain Melts. This one I got from a D-Sash. There was someone on the Facebook group. Um, there's a few D-Stash, so they will get a, a few of their D-Sashes that they wax that they don't want or um, isn't their vibe or whatever. So I got a big bag for like 30 bucks, and this was one, one of them. I normally don't purchase from Salt Mountain Melts, but this was strawberry pound cake, um, sweet and salty. What does that say? Sweet and salty. That's it. Anyways, um, this was upstairs in our bedroom. And um, so I have two. I have a, um, a hot plate warmer um, next to my bed. And then I have just a regular light warmer on my dresser. Um, so this was burnt on my dresser and, and actually also the last bar last night went into the one next to my bed. Um, but most of the time next to my bed was L3. You guys, I love L3 waxing wonders. Um, so this one is, uh, vanilla ombre cake, creamy whipped cream frosting and marshmallow fluff center. This was just warm and cozy. So good. This is those, mm, this was fun. Uh, so that's it for my empties and my candle empties. I will try and maybe do this once a week or once every other week, depending on how much I have. Obviously the candles, well, it depends. I don't know. The candles usually take a couple weeks for me to go through. Like I said, I burn them usually every morning, um, anywhere from three to five hours, depending on like if it's the candle berry, it takes a little bit longer for it to pull. Um, the crinkle, actually I can burn a little longer. I could keep that on for about four to five hours. And then in, later on in the afternoon, then I'll do my, my wax melts. So that is that's it, you guys. Um, I'm going to start doing another video. I'm going to do my haul video. Uh, maybe my husband won't watch this. Anyways, doesn't matter because, like I said, I laugh for it, but I just feel bad. Um, that's about it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, leave a like, subscribe, and you know what? Tell me, is it raining where you're at? How is your weather? Are you ready for spring? Are you, um, what are you melting? I just, I, I like to know what people are melting. Are you a mood melter? Are you a seasonal melter? Um, do you melt just whatever you want and don't give two craps about what weather it is. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.